what's going on everybody welcome back to another tutorial video i'm virix and today i'm going to be showing you how to build this iron beast behind me i am calling this thing the iron chunk because it takes up nine chunks um if we do f3 and g you can see it takes up a lot of space now this thing is like mid game friendly i wouldn't do it before uh you know beating the ender dragon just because that'll be the easiest way to get obsidian but if you can get obsidian before that uh then you will be just fine getting this thing set up the redstone on this is pretty basic this is a uh like a etho hopper clock um and then just some redstone and repeaters that carry the uh redstone signal all the way to the cells so we are going to go into the nether side and i'll show you the kill chamber up there we have a um chunk loader right here this is a ill mango chunk loader and all it is doing is passing the minecart back and forth which loads the chunks in this nine by nine area or three by three area i apologize and let's go ahead and we'll drop down here and you can see there is a ton of golems coming through and if we give it just a second we will see a bunch more come through there we go Look at all them golems. All right, so this thing pumps out a lot of iron. If we come over here, we get 20,739 iron ingots per hour. That is uh, the equivalent to 2,304 iron blocks per hour and 5,311 poppies, in case you were wondering. Um, and the reason I know this, I used carpet mod. That's why this uh, thing wool is here. So, But uh, we're not going to waste any time. Let's get right into the build. Okay, so here's the material list that you guys are going to need. It does not require a ton of materials, and you can make this uh, farm smaller if you so choose. You can just do less portals um, and less uh, villager cells and zombie cells if that's what you decide to do. So uh, you are going to need um, 511 blocks of your choice, uh, 564 glass of your choice, uh, the 112 uh, stone slabs of your choice as well, and um, you do not need this much tinted glass. I just did that for the zombie cells, but I don't actually need to build the cells out of tinted glass. You just need something above their head. Um, and let's go ahead and scroll down. Trap doors or whatever trap doors of your choice. Um, and that is all the important things that I wanted to mention. You will need 48 beds. That means 48 villagers. Um, and let's get into the build. All right, so to get started with this build, you are going to want to hit F3 and G and look at your chunks. You want to find the center of a chunk, just kind of like what I did here. You can make an X and then you've got this, uh, these four squares and we can go ahead and delete these. We don't need those and pick one of these sides. It doesn't matter which direction you go, but one side. So we're going to go with this side and then start on uh, the far side and you are going to do 16 blocks. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Now this corner one's temporary. You can place one there. Go up one. And that's 1, 2, 3, temporary. And then right there. And then we are going to bring this all the way back. All right. And then temporary or that bottom one was temporary, go up and you connect it. So there's your first portal. Now for the second one, you're gonna place a temporary block here, permanent block, and then you are gonna go 16 blocks again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Now you see that lines up right there with the uh, chunk border. So this one's temporary again, place a block, up to temporary permanent block and we're going to carry this all the way back right there okay so once you've got this pattern here you can go ahead and add the other two sets of um portals and the way you're going to do that is place a block here count this as one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13. That's going to be where your next set of portals is at. And then you are going to count out 13 
starting with this block here on the in the other direction so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen that's where our next set of portals is going to be all right once you've got your uh three sets of portals set up make sure that there's one here in the center and you've put one on either side of it and make sure as well that these line up with the chunk borders on the sides and that they haven't gone over so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put the spawning platform on these things so you're just going to do one layer of blocks at the bottom of each one of these portals and just make it flush with the uh the portal so there's one and two oops mr block and you're just going to go ahead and do this on all the sides of all of these portals just like that so you will duplicate this on that one and the other one all right once you've done that let's go to this middle portal here and we are going to go ahead and light it and we are going to go in to the nether and you do not have to do this farm up in the air or on the top of the nether like I am doing. I am doing it just for uh, video purposes and to make life a lot easier. You will have to dig space out if you're down in the bottom of the nether for the, um, the chunk loader. So that's part of why I did this up in the sky. I understand that it'll make it more difficult to get villagers up there and whatnot. But if you take two villagers, you get them up into the sky with... You know a bubble elevator or a mine cart which i know is a lot because we are actually building the farm at y127 um you could do a villager breeder uh near the location where you're going to be building the farm so um that being said so this is the portal that spawned us naturally we need to use our coordinates to link up that center portal with one up here on the roof now we are actually going to lift it up just a little Okay, so it's time to link up these portals. Just find a spot that's in the middle of uh, this middle portal here and <clears throat> write down your coordinates. Now you need the X and the Z coordinates. So um, we are standing at negative 200 by negative 2503. So you take each of those numbers, divide them by eight, and those are the coordinates that you're going to need um, to put your portal in the nether. So for our case we need to go to negative 25 uh by negative 313 so let's see negative 25 is here and 313 is this way which is actually right here so that worked out nicely let's go ahead and we're gonna break this and we are gonna pillar up probably like 20 maybe not 20 blocks let's go one two three four five six seven eight nine nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen all right so we'll do 15 blocks um and i forgot to check which direction that the portal is facing that is important so we will do that here in just a second so um let's go over one So I went up, we're going to make this portal just a little bit bigger because this is the portal that the golems are going to be coming through. Um, so we are going to make the base three wide on the inside. And oh, that's a little funny. Let's go up one more. Perfect square portals don't make sense. There we go. All right. So we are actually facing south to north. So uh, let's check and see what our other portals are facing. We might have to fix that we are facing yeah we're facing west okay let me fix that real quick okay so i went ahead and got that portal turned um you do want them uh facing the same direction the one that ones that are in the overworld compared to the ones in the nether they need to be facing the same direction so our next step is we're going to go ahead and put glass walls on here so you just go ahead and place two blocks there temporary block here place one up one and so now you have a too high wall of glass and you're going to carry this along here all right one there on the obsidian one up place one and just fill this in and we are going to go ahead and do that on 
all of these portals on all sides. So we're going to go ahead and do it on this side. And oops. Placing blocks left and right. All right, so once you got the glass around the cells, uh, and we use glass to keep the golems from spawning up there, um, so we also need to put glass on top of the portals. Um, I forgot to mention that as well, um, and do that on every single portal. So our next step is we're going to put the platforms for the villagers to sit. So if you go to one corner, uh, or one of the furthest corners from one of your portals, and you look at these blocks count into the third block and you're going to go down four one two three four and break these blocks these are all temporary blocks and then from this going away from the farm you're going to count five blocks one two three four five this block right here is where the villagers are going to sit so you want to keep these three blocks and go ahead and delete those ones you are going to next place a block here 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 and here and then you can go ahead and place down a bed on the right side the middle and here as well and then go ahead and place uh two temporary blocks here you are going to place a trap door on the back and then place a slab on top of that go ahead and delete those two blocks and then you're just going to go ahead and cover the beds with the same exact pattern and that's what it should look like and it should be pointing in the direction of the portals for the next one you're going to count over starting here and you're going to count 13 blocks towards the other portal so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen go ahead and remove these blocks those are just counter blocks and then you are going to place blocks going towards the middle of the farm one two three go ahead and delete this block this block right here is going to be um the one that the uh, villagers are going to stand on so you are going to go ahead and place in two blocks here one there one there and place your bed here and here and here and then we will go ahead and build those up again in a minute but I'm going to show you guys the spacing for this one here um, this is going to go lengthwise with the farm so counting the block that the villagers stand on that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen the fourteenth block is the one that the villagers are going to be standing on so keep those two blocks place a 15th block and that is your platform wide so we're going to go ahead and delete those two blocks down the middle one on each side and then you are going to repeat this across the farm so again we're going to go 14 blocks from this center one here so that's two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and the 15th block is for the beds and going from the center one here we are going to go 13 blocks towards the center of the farm so this block here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen go ahead and remove that and place a block there and there one on each side and I'm going to place it in the shape of the T and then you've got up and we're go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of these and I'll be back with you guys in just a second. Okay so I've got all the villager cells set up uh you should have 16 and you do need to use lower slabs here uh to prevent golems from spawning um and for this center part i forgot to mention that if you uh counting that one right there because you want these pointing towards each other so basically it just flip flops so they mirror each other so you count that one that the villagers is standing on so that's going to be one block two three four five six seven eight nine 
10, 11, 12, and then the 13th block is the one that they're going to be standing on. And like I said, you just mirror it. And uh, the easiest way to uh, remember is if you're going lengthwise with the portals, you're going to have 14 blocks from where one village is to the next. And then going with uh, the shorter distance of the farm, you're going to go 13 from in between where the village is. So there's, you got one here, 13 blocks over. They're standing right there as well. So, um, but let's go ahead and get into setting up the uh, zombie cells. All right. So what you want to go ahead and do is go to your center portal. We're going to get the uh, hopper clock set up right now. So go underneath the center portal, go to one side and count one. I just broke it. Don't break it. Um, so count over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Place a temporary block and you're going to go down eight blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This eight block is not temporary. So keep it and then delete the rest of these. Now go one temporary block permanent block permanent block in the same direction as the uh, portals go ahead and delete that block you're gonna go down two blocks all right once you've placed those two blocks you're gonna delete that middle one and then place a temporary block here permanent block there delete that one you are gonna put a repeater here and uh, pointing into that block with a redstone torch on top of that and then place a temporary block on the back of the repeater you will have to crouch press uh, to place that one and then place a redstone block here and i forgot my sticky pistons and then you're going to uh, place a temporary block temporary block and one more temporary block delete that one and that one Wait, my sticky piston go there. and then place a sticky piston facing that redstone and then go ahead and place two temporary blocks on the back of the redstone block delete the first one and place a sticky piston facing the redstone block like that next you are going to uh, place a temporary block on the back of the piston temporary block and uh, do two more there and one right here so you have kind of that shape all right then we can go over here and we're going to do the same thing and one there next you want to place a temporary block here place down a hopper crouch and place another hopper facing that one break this one and then crouch and place a hopper back into that one you can go ahead and delete this block place a comparator facing into that block there and then another one facing into this block here okay so now you can delete that block and that block and then redstone dust um go ahead and place a redstone dust here and we delete that temporary block and that one there place one here and your hopper clock is done we will worry about putting items in that in a little bit so we will add one block here put a temporary block block on top of that and then another block coming out and you can delete that one you don't need it and so including this block here we're going to go 14 blocks that way all right so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and we're going to go ahead and go to the other side and we're going to add one block temporary one on top one on the side delete that one and go 13 blocks this direction so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 all right next up we can go over to the side that's 13 blocks long and uh, actually i think this is the 14 block long side it doesn't matter go up one on the uh 14 block side a, a temporary block place a permanent block and then you're going to go in one block and you're going to go out 13 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 
the same thing on the other side. And then we are going to place one block on this side and go over uh, six blocks over here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So you should have eight blocks long. And we will do the same thing on the other side. So one block here and six blocks here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you will repeat this process over here on the other side. Go up one temporary, over one, and then come in one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Place one. Place one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, and on the end of all these, go up one, over one, temporary on all of these sides. So you can place that here as well. These are going to be the cells where the zombies are going to be chilling at. And right there. All right, so now we can uh, place some redstone. So we'll go ahead and place one redstone here, here, and here. And then place a repeater pointing into that block there, one into that block there. And then on the back side of this block, you're going to place a comparator with a repeater and go ahead and extend your redstone all the way up to this block here. And then we can go ahead and do the same thing on this side, comparator, repeater, and then redstone dust going all the way over here. And then you are gonna take a repeater facing that way. You're gonna also take a repeater facing this way. Then you can take your redstone dust and extend it over here. And then once you get to here, place redstone dust, a repeater facing here redstone dust going up this way and i messed up sorry place a repeater going there as well and then place redstone or uh compare or sorry a repeater right there so we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing on this side over here and a repeater there and redstone dust going this way with a repeater and um actually you know what it'll probably do better if we just put it right there boom so that is i like that better put that there and there sorry that's actually how it's supposed to be and then we are going to go over to the other side wash rinse and repeat all right so um, I just wanted to reiterate the, that you do not need the redstone comparators facing into the blocks where these zombies are at on these arms. You don't have to do it. If you are low on redstone resources, then just put redstone dust there. That is fine. Where you do need repeaters is here and right here. Because you need this comparator pulling a signal strength 15 out of this block and then uh, sending it into the repeater and repeating that signal of 15 so you can stretch it out so but we are going to go ahead and we're going to start getting the cells set up for the zombies so go ahead and place a sticky piston facing up right here and let's uh kill that redstone and then place a block on top and then we'll do the same thing right here and we'll do a solid block sorry and then place glass in the middle of that and then place one on all four sides and then you can delete that middle piece of glass, go up two blocks. And uh, earlier in the video, I had mentioned that you needed the, you know, something above the uh, zombies heads. I forgot to mention that I actually designed this farm so that way the zombies sit underneath the platform so you don't have to worry about that. So a zombie will be sitting here um, and you will probably have to, you know, break the portal or something to get the zombies in there. I understand it's not the uh, easiest, um, method of getting the zombies into your cells but i would suggest getting the zombies up here before you get your villagers up here because it'll be a lot easier then so but, um then uh so for this one we're just going to copy exactly what we did there one in the middle one on all four sides break the middle one and then boom just like that now you're going to repeat the process on all of these areas that we have with the block sticking up all right so once you've completed putting all the cells for the zombies you can go ahead and replace that piece of redstone dust like i did and check and see if all of them are up if 
they are, then you did it correct. And make sure that all these cells are underneath these platforms. So we can go over here to these hoppers and we can right click on it and put 38 of any stackable item in here. And what that's going to do is it's going to make this clock last about 34 seconds. It takes 30 seconds for a villager to be able to spawn in a new iron golem. And so if we put that in there and then this will shut off because what this is going to do is it's going to shift this redstone block over here, powering the redstone repeater, shutting off the torch, which is also going to shut off the uh, reds, all the redstone for the farm. And there it goes. So in another uh, 30 seconds or so, that will turn back on. So now we're going to head up here and we are going to get started working on building our chunk loader. All right, so before we get to building the uh, chunk loader, what you need to do is you need to come up 60 blocks from the top of that middle um, down there and count up 60 blocks. And that'll be one of these blocks here. And then you're going to create a, just a normal portal and facing the same direction as your uh, iron farm portals. And then go through and it's going to drop you down at your lower uh, portal. And then you are going to take the coordinates just like we did earlier, but for this uh, portal and go up 60 blocks from the top of that portal, place your blocks in uh, reference to what your coordinates are supposed to be uh, in the overworld one. So you're, you know, you'll just divide your X and your Z coordinates by eight, and that'll give you the portal location. The Y level stays the same. So once you've done that then go ahead and take a redstone block come up one over one in onto the portal and you're going to place a redstone block and then you're going to place a pumpkin and this pumpkin helps reduce lag you will place a lever on one side a porch on the back and then we are going to place a temporary block there there and there break those two and then place a dispenser facing towards the portal and then break that temporary block crouch and place a hopper into that dispenser and then place a trap door here on the portal and then go ahead and place a detect uh sorry a powered rail there detector rail here and crouch and place whoops crouch and place a normal rail there and there and then you can go ahead and place glass on the sides of this rail here one here go up one over one place it there and then you're going to place one at the back of this hopper temporary block one right there one on the side and then you're going to cover the sides of this here one on the side of each of these rails and you can keep those open cover up the top and you are going to dump in a lava bucket right here and that is it for the chunk loader and we are going to grab a solid block or a block of any kind and we're going to go out three blocks on each side all right and then we'll go back through and we are going to place a minecart on this detector rail right here. And it's going to go. Not going to lag too much. We're going to go through and see which side that it's sitting on. So we can re remove these temporary blocks here. Go ahead and kill the minecart. And we are going to build the same thing but on the opposite side. So redstone there, pumpkin here, and then we need a redstone porch right there and our lever right here. And then temporary block, temporary block, temporary block, delete those two. We're gonna place a dispenser facing here, remove that temporary block, hopper into the back of it, and then we can go ahead and place our glass hopper there. And I'm doing this kind of backwards. Sorry. 
There we go. And let's go ahead and place our rails real quick. Apologize for that. And detector rail there. So power rail on top of the redstone block. Detector rail on top of the pumpkin. And then regular rail there. Regular rail there. Your lava bucket's going to be here. And then glass. And then we still have to place our trap door. Oh, uh, you do need one glass block on top of the detector rail. I forgot to put that on the other side. So we will place block there and there. And one here here and there and we'll put our trap door here and if we pass our mine car here it should go back and there we go so that is all set up uh try not to bump the uh, mine cart now this um chunk loader will normally shut off if you um leave uh the game if you log out of the game it will shut off um, in my experience at least. So let's place our glass block there, remove that one, and one over the lava so we don't fall in, because accident prone. All right, so we are gonna get started building our kill chamber. I already built up one side. Um, I will have the material list in the description for this and the chunk loader. So you are gonna go down four blocks. One, two, three, four. Put a temporary block right here. And then you'll place one there and you're going to go over three one temporary one permanent and then you're going to go up until you meet the portal all right and then you're going to go out four blocks so this is our first one so one two three four temporary block permanent and then over three and we are going to extend this out and then you just go ahead and fill this in like i did on this side all right and then go ahead and go up three blocks on the entire chamber around the portal and you'll do that on this side and the other all right once you've done that get inside of the chamber and you are gonna go up one block from the bottom go ahead and place in signs all along this from one end to the other and you're gonna do it for here on this block and you are also going to do it here and here all right once you've gotten all the signs put in it should look a little bit like this and then go up to one of these two signs right underneath the middle of the portal and you crouch and place a lava bucket on top of one of them it should spread out the variants all right so i'm back in the overworld and we need to go ahead and get our villagers and zombies installed and the farm is going to be ready to go all right two things i wanted to point out that i made a mistake on real quick is that uh these two zombies on the uh side that we did uh we counted 13 if you want you can go 14 to prevent this problem but um and then build the stuff out but these zombies right here ended up underneath this spot here and they burn up from the sun so place a piece of tinted glass there for a nice easy fix and do that on this side as well go ahead and make sure that you have all of your villagers in place all of your zombies in place now if your villagers have not slept they will not be able to uh, spawn in iron golems so let's go ahead and give it a shot we will place in this redstone now and everybody should pop up we should see iron golems there they are just started spawning perfect so iron golems are in fact spawning everybody's getting scared except this one because i forgot to put a zombie in there and there we go so it looks like everything is working the way it should be i must have forgot to put a zombie in there too how funny there we go and everybody's getting scared and everybody's freaking out and everybody's spawning in iron golems now you can set up a um a portal you know probably about 100 blocks away if you link it properly that way you don't have to use those two portals to get around so but um also i apologize for the mistake you do want to have a floor of hoppers here i 
sorry that I forgot to mention that. And then uh, you'll want a hefty storage system. So um, we've already got uh, plenty of iron coming in. So, but um, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I worked really hard designing this farm. So if you don't mind, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. It means a lot to me and it really helps out my channel. If you would like to see a smaller version of this farm where I do like a single cell, um, more resource friendly, if there's enough likes and comments down below, then I, I will consider going ahead and doing that as well. If you guys want to catch me on Twitch, you can do that. I stream once a week, either on Friday or Saturday. Sometimes it depends due to work, but uh, I will leave my Twitch link in the description below. And you can also check out our Discord for the Netherend SMP. I greatly appreciate your guys' time, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.